Welcome in to True Daily Diamond for Tuesday, November 5th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. We got Maction. Maction has started, guys. Welcome to the month of November. Some people watching the election, we're breaking down college football games from a betting perspective, both nationally televised games, ESPN2 and ESPN coming your way. So let me know in the comments below where you agree, where you disagree. All is welcome. What your bets are for this upcoming week in both college football, the NFL, college basketball. Let me know in the comments below. I'll be in there chiming in as well. Smash that like button if you're liking the content. We got first game up, ESPN2, 730 Eastern in the MAC. Bowling Green in Central Michigan. We are seeing uh, the Bowling Green Falcons minus 12 in the hook. As the road favorite, 48 and a half being the total. First off, this is Kelly Short Stadium, Mount Pleasant, Michigan. That's where Central Michigan is located. It does look like periods of rain, wind 15 to 30 miles per hour. So the wind might be a factor here in this game. We'll first start off with the Bowling Green side, four and four straight up and against the spread. But the story here, they opened minus 10 point road favorites. They've been pushed up to 12 in the hook here. This is a team that played within one score of both Texas A&M and Penn State. So a lot of times, guys, when you see like nationally televised games on ESPN, midweek, the Mac, people will will remember like, oh, man, Bowling Green. You know, they played Texas A&M. They played Penn State within, you know, what single digits that that must that must be a, a real team, you know, in the Mac. And, and sometimes that's right. But sometimes. We got to remember coming into Mac conference play, betting Maction, it can kind of be all over the place in terms of just volatile handicaps. Sometimes these teams come together and they're pretty, you know, likewise in terms of talent. And sometimes it's not. Sometimes it can be blowout city, but it's something to keep in mind when we're betting Maction going forward, how these teams played against kind of like bigger conference foes. Now for Bowling Green, their head coach, Scott Leffler, quarterback, Connor Blazlack, he's been around. Um, they also have a tight end, Harold Fannin, uh, some NFL squads. Uh, he's getting NFL attention anyway. They're up against Central Michigan here. The Chippewas have lost three straight games. They just give up 86 points in their last two games if you're kind of going by the box score. In their last game, though, I just actually watched it. It was against Miami of Ohio. I think that score is a little bit misleading for whatever that's worth. First off, they had their quarterback, a freshman. He was their third string quarterback at the beginning of the season. Um, His name's Tyler Jefferson. He's a good athlete back there. Not really a polished passer, but he'll make plays with his feet. I actually think this is too big of a move, guys. I mean, Bowling Green's going to actually, you know, in order to cash this ticket, have to win by more than two touchdowns on the road. And also with both of these two games, really Maction for this week, all the teams have extra preparation time. You know, they're playing Tuesday and Wednesday here for the first week of Maction, the midweek football, meaning they didn't play since the Saturday before. I actually think that helps their their young quarterback on the Central Michigan side. So I know I'm up against a lot of people going by this line move, going by the ticket count, but I actually think that his his athletic ability at the quarterback position, talking about Jefferson here, the Chippewas quarterback, I think it helps him. You know, the, the high wins, I think that hurts Bowling Green more than it hurts Central Michigan. Central Michigan's also three at one at three and one at home so far this season. And their only loss was against Ohio, a game which they covered. So they're playing better football in Mount Pleasant. Hey guys, the dog barking straight up. 7.30 Eastern, Central Michigan, plus 12 and a half is the play in the first MAC game. Got one more. It's just a two-game slate here um, for Tuesday night. But a reminder, if you could uh, smash that like button and comment below, it will help out the algorithm. If you're interested in premium picks, check them out. Drew Martin Experts page, wagertalk.com. We got F-Ball 50. That's F-Ball 50. Coupon code for $50 off college football or the NFL season. So we got 8 p.m., the nightcap here on ESPN. Both games going to be going the majority at the same time, though. It is Miami of Ohio and Ball State. Schumann Stadium, Muncie, Indiana. Miami O, minus 12-point road favorites, 48 being the total. This one also has some weather aspects to it. I mean, in that part of the region, this one actually looks 15 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts. So, 
In terms of betting the over, which I was kind of looking towards, I would really pump the brakes on that, guys. Sometimes this uh, high wind gust can really affect the passing. Um, all right, Miami of Ohio up first. Four and four straight up and against the spread. They've won and covered three straight, and they've scored 30-plus in each game. Their quarterback, Brett Gabbert, um, right, remember his brother, uh, first-round draft pick, I believe, in the NFL. He's in his sixth year, six-year senior here. And this is a team that started 0-3 to the season. They played Cincinnati, Notre Dame, and Northwestern in their first three matchups. But since, they've been kind of on a run here. Their last win was against just last week against Central Michigan. But I talked about it kind of being a little bit misleading. I think it was 16-7 to uh, midway through the third quarter, and then they blew them out at the end. So I don't want to give them too, too much credit for that. And Ball State on the other side, they've actually covered two straight games. Two weeks ago, they went into Nashville, played Vanderbilt, and only lost by 10 points, 24 to 14. And last week, they won outright as a two-touchdown underdog against Northern Illinois. That same Northern Illinois team that beat Notre Dame, they won outright against them as the two-touchdown two dog. Um, they also played Western Michigan, who's at the top of the max standings right now, and they only lost by a field goal. So I think giving 12 points to Ball State is a bit too much here, guys, particularly with the wind in this matchup, you know, that's going to hinder the offenses, probably make both offenses play slower as well. It's what, you know, I, I mentioned maybe go towards the over. I would pump the brakes on that, look under totals wise, but even more so it correlates with the dog. Big dog here. I think Ball State plus 12 is barking in, Bun in Muncie, Indiana. So we got two underdogs to start us off here. Mac conference play in the recap guys 51 and 35 that's 59 percent given out for free on drew's daily diamond the last six weeks if you've been profiting if you can help me out grow the show uh smash that like button comment below that's plus 12.2 units of profit so hopefully we get two more here if not one and one but it is central michigan plus 12 and a half and ball state plus 12 for maction on tuesday we'll be back on wednesday slate we're breaking down the mac and uh, some midweek action until it's over here, guys, on uh, Drew's Daily Diamond each and every day on the Wager Talk YouTube channel. So that's going to do it for the Tuesday show. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. We'll be back tomorrow. Come back and join us. Until then, cash those tickets. Thanks for tuning in.